billboard. Oh, so, syempre, papasa ko yun sa kanila. <laughs> Kasi mas mailang sa sakit. When you're going to see the old baby, we're opening billboard. You will see there like, an over-the-shoulder shot of the main character from his billboard. You can have the mirror with a particular frame of symmetry. And that particular thing symbolizes um, the Joker is the mediocre in a particular society. Na he would like to provide happiness and joy to this particular person, but the society throws him a lot of negativity. Even though he would like to be optimistic, but in terms of looking at his self in the mirror, it's like, oh, this is me, I would like to be like this. But the society fails or triggers me to be like this. Ayan, so, Sir Jazz? And I think the OBB is actually uh, representing already, or presenting already the kind of character that the main character is portraying and of course um, is trying to smile even in his um, uh, uh, I mean ang pinapakita niya ay ito yung gusto niya mangyari pero ito yung dinitinta ng ibang tao he is basically smiling amidst uh, crisis internally uh, sa kanyang emotion so well basically in our society ganun naman di ba ito yung dito tayo masaya pero dinitinta ng society Alinda, ba talaga dapat tayo? Or saan ba talaga dapat tayo? Sasaya, which is very, parang, ano, you know, yung nakikita ko doon. Pwede ang nakapunta naman, kasi yung OBB kasi for shadow siya ng please support the dialogue na magandang mga supply box sa kanilang salamat. Well, uh, ang impression ko doon sa opening, This, right? So, and he's kind of a loser. I mean, we kind of see that uh, his situation in life is not very good. I mean, uh, so uh, it's a good uh, way to kind of get you ready for this uh, scene. Uh, I mean, for this movie. The scene sets up uh, the movie uh, very well. It's saying that, oh, this is not going to be a uh, Avengers film, you know, where nobody really dies, even Tony Stark. He's already dead, but still appearing in Spider-Man. Uh, Far from home. <laughs> so, you know, this is going to be a, a film with consequences for the characters. So, yeah, that's my idea about it. Yes? Well, for me, um, the, the one, the scene where he is forcing himself to smile reminds me of the mask that we wear every day. Mm -hmm. That we need to be happy even though we are sad. Well, we need to put up a certain role because that is what the situation demands us to be. So, yeah. Now, we are so depressing as a whole part of it. You will be in the year city to be or to consider the thought that we are all clowns. And in relation to the OAD part of the film, Siguro, uh, we can now go through the characters. Yes. Let's introduce the characters in the movie and let's try to see kung uh, ano ba talaga yung pinotrain ng nilang mga rules na babagay ba talaga sa kanilang mga Ako, I would uh, say, i-critic ko yung main cast. Um, gusto ko yung pagkakakak na kasi nakifeel ko yung anguish, yung pain, tapos nandun din yung frustration na. Na ito yung gusto niyong mangyari pero hindi na nangyayari. And, um, Di ba, may mga times na may gusto pa yung mangyari at hini-imagine nila natin na nangarap ka. So, there is some sort of a shift from reality to imagination. And na-portray niya yung mga magandito. Minsan ako, ang imagination niya ba ito totoo nangyayari? So, it's very nice. Same thing with any poor end, we're going to serve all of them. Actually, many of us can relate to the character of Joker. And I think that's where stress is coming from. Doon papasok yung stress. Because um, most of us people really has this um, parang mga situation in which we, we became frustrated, we became rejected by, um, by people inside our society. We want things that, uh, that we cannot have. Uh, so parang ganun yung, yung nakikilala. Though in the movie or in the film, medyo extreme yung characterization nung, nung uh, main cast kasi parang lahat na lang ng negative vibes sa kanya. And it's quite ironic because um, he's supposed to be happy. Pero it's the bad joker. And siguro inisip natin, it's more on humor, it's more on ano. But kung hindi ka-fan ng Batman uh, series, hindi ko siya makilala. So parang ironic that a clown into a killer. Personally, I don't really uh, care too much about uh, whether this was a great acting uh, performance or not. Every time I see a movie, it's not the acting I'm looking for. I, I'm just, you just have to be adequate to me, right? I mean, as long as I'm not looking at you on the screen and saying, oh my God, you're so horrible, it's fine. 
which is why, you know, when I see Tom Cruise, he may not be the greatest actor, but it's okay. That's okay. But having said that, yes, Joaquin Phoenix has a great performance in this. And the reason uh, why is that usually uh, I'm aware that this is an actor. Uh, I'm looking at someone who's acting, you know, this is not really him. But at some points in the film, I forget. And uh, he kind of draws you in. You, you feel sympathy for someone who is, like I've said before, he's a loser. He's not someone that you're supposed to look up to. But uh, there's a scene there that, you know, when he was being accosted by the three uh, rich uh, idiots. Um, and I never wanted to see three people get shot more than that uh, particular sequence. I don't know if that says something about me, but that's the, the brilliance of the acting. Uh, and again, I don't really care too much about it usually, but that was a good, uh, good uh, performance. And uh, I guess most also, I mean, even uh, De Niro uh, being kind of out of his uh, usual element, uh, again, get, seeing him get shot uh, brought uh, satisfaction to me. And that means he did his job well, right? That's what he was supposed to do. So anyway, good job with the uh, acting and the uh, characters, they're all uh, great. Tess? Much about the actor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care much about the inside. I don't know. In terms of the character, well executed, um, the internal and external. Because the character, you will see the particular aspect. First is the internal factors that actually affect his cognitive. The other one is the external factors where he actually interact with the society. And you can see that he's a personality. Siya. At some point, if you don't care about him, he will be that kind of passive person. But the moment you actually triggered him, you will see as a big personality that he will be a big personality. Uh, family background, yeah. 
the relationship of the mother and the Joker really means a lot uh, in the first part. Pero, mer- dumating sa pagkakata ko na nagkaroon sila ng hindi magkakaintindihan. That is why Joker was triggered to, to know sa mga bali, who is me? So, baka kasi, eh, hindi ko alam kung ano yung mapapasaya sa akin. Hindi yan yung mood. Kasi, hindi niya alam kung saan siya nang galing. So, nagkaroon ng trigger, tapos makikita natin yung yung iba't ibang version ng story. Iba yung version ng story ng mother. ng mother, iba yung version ng story ng father. And, Joker found out that uh, based on the records. Pero ako pala meron ng presentation. Kung totoo ba talaga ng book siya, kung totoo ba talaga ang katil si Batman. Kasi, as I can see, this father of Joker, supposed to be father of Joker, is a very powerful being. He can actually fake the document and na uh, parang baka nabibig yun. Kung makalala ko, kuri na kaisipan yung mama ni Joker, tapos nabaliw. Hindi ba kasi meron din yung publication about that particular mother ni Joker and then the Joker, it can be fraud or it can be fake, it can be forged. So, yun, hindi natin na alam. So, there's a lot of things that really um, happen na hindi natin, hindi rin hindi yun sa story. So, parang that is something more interesting. Kasi there's a lot of what if, and in life, we have a lot of what ifs, what ifs, what ifs. But ito ang ganda. What if, what if, sir, na solusyon na naman ng document na he read the letter, di ba, na ginawa ng mother niya, doon kay, doon sa particular, sa Akis Potter. And that's the moment na parang, oh, and that's the moment na parang natinigil siya. And his mom also asked him, parang, if you stay calm first, then I'll talk to you. Because after that, he looked for the answer. To the point na may interaction niya sa lalo ni Batman. When Batman is yeah, about that, uh, that you know, the actor playing Bruce Wayne, mm-hmm. uh, he's been with uh, Joaquin Phoenix in uh, another movie, playing him as a younger version of himself. So obviously the director knew that uh, he was going to have that kind of uh, twist. So mm-hmm. it's another thing that uh, he actually looked for a, uh, a boy who kind of looks like, if you've seen Joaquin Phoenix when he was younger and I've seen him, uh, it's really close. So he, the director is <laughs> trying to really sell that because it, it, it's always a possibility. I mean, yes, the records are there, but they could have been made to be there by a mm-hmm. very powerful uh, person. Yeah, so it's always there. Yeah, I think uh, Walking Phoenix has a great uh, skill in portraying uh, boys who are looking for uh, a father. Because <laughs> you see him in Gladiator, it's the same, uh, the same thing. He's, he kills his father because his father liked Russell Crowe more than him. He's like, I'm your son. Right? And then if you've seen him when he was younger in Very Good, it's the same thing. He's looking for his father, and uh, the father doesn't want him to be in his life anymore. So he has a lot of practice with this particular uh, kind of character. So uh, I guess it's easier for him. And again, great job, uh, King Phoenix. Yes, Para 
parang doon sa isang interview sa kanya, sabi, if I were the one who was killed in the subway, would you actually give some money? Kasi ano naman tayo doon yung tatlo? That triggers the riot. Kasi doon sa film, there are highlighted, sustainable development goals. First is the Buddha and Robbie. Mangin naman natin yun yung sinabi ng Sir Jeffs kanina, yung last na triggers um, psychological condition. And then, you also have the reduced inequalities. So, if I experience the same with Joker, I will actually participate in the riot. And as mentioned earlier, earlier, all of us were bound, and we are very our, our own mass, this particular paper down kind of society. So, if I presented with this particular issue, na okay lang pumatay kasi wala naman nagagawa ang mga police, even when Joker actually shot in front of the national television, the host in a particular, um, let's say, hype uh, episode, then I will join the riot. So, that's how we're going to view the, the clash. Between the different status of the university as well. Well, basically, that speaks a lot, especially in our society today. Um, the rivalry or the clash between the margin and the less privileged life and the, the rich. So, sometimes, at some point, um, yung mga tao na walas na nakakamatangat sa buhay, mas grabe yung sympathy na nakuha ng, ng society. Like, say, for example, pag namatay si ganitong uri ng tao, anak ng ganitong kill ng personality, grabe yung ating um, pag sa kanila. Pero kapag normal na tako lang naman ang matay, wala namang masyadong issue. Yun yung sinasabi ni Joker ganun na but if but, ako yung namatay at hindi yung tatlong uh, rich na tao. That is why the riot there uh, just speaks of something politically and uh, society, society primarily because uh, the marginalized there um, is somehow learning how to fight. And the nangyayari yun sa atin ngayon pero up until when we can speak uh, and kailan ba talaga maririnig yung kung ano yung sinasabi na natin. So, the good thing about it is that in the film, nabigyan na somehow. Ganito yung sitwasyon ni Joker, though naging masama yung kanyang ending, yung parang feeling ko lang, the moment na Joker killed that specific person, na ang, ang representation kasi niya ay parang ah, napapitan. So, hindi ko alam bakit ko siya naririnig doon sa mga bagay na yun. The moment na binarik niya yung lalaki, there's justice. Parang gano'n. Pagkat sa'yo yung protestation niya to reduce inequalities, but yung act to reduce inequalities, it's not proper kasi hindi kayo niya rin. Diba? Have you seen how it's respectful and it become when they actually, again, sa sabi, sa train na naman, where again, yung police sinahabula siya kasi the police knew for a fact that maybe nawa siya fault. Pero what happened there? Parang he was covered up with a lot of clowns and a lot of people in that particular subway or in that particular train na okay lang pumatay ng ganito, ganyan, regardless of their status quo. Kasi ito yung gusto ngayon eh. We need to fight for our rights. But the thought there is, is it proper? So there should be violence between the different ideologies. Kasi maganda sana yung, maganda sana yung propagation na we need to reduce inequalities, blah, blah, blah. Pero hindi niya actually na first yun eh. Kasi the moment na pinatay niya yung ganito, hindi niya naman alam na mayroon yun eh. Okay, he was most presenting as good health and well-being. You know the thing about this film, is that I think a lot of people are having a reaction to it, especially politically, is that uh, it touches a lot of uh, issues. Um, now, it's open to interpretation because a lot of people get different uh, interpretations, but um, my interpretation is, uh, if you guys know who is uh, Bernie Getz? Yeah, right. Yeah. He's in that uh, song uh, by, uh, you know, that uh, we didn't start the fire, you know? Uh, and uh, Bernie Getz is a very important uh, cultural figure in America because in the 1980s, uh, Bernie Getz was a New York uh, resident. And uh, New York at that time was just like Gotham in that film. You know, full of crime. Uh, people felt that uh, there was no rule of law, things like that. And uh, Bernie Getz uh, was someone who was kind of a loser, in a, in, you know, again, like a, the Joker character. And uh, he was mocked uh, one time, you know, they stole uh, money from him and all that. And uh, he asked for uh, the police to allow him to carry a gun, and, but they denied him because they said it's not, uh, it's not really, your reason is not uh, enough. And so when, on a trip to Florida, he buys a gun and takes it back with him. And uh, one day, he goes into the subway, again, the train, the same thing. There were four guys who opposed him. Well, in this case, there were four black people. Black, uh, black guys, all of them with criminal records, by the way, later on we find out. And they, they say to him, give me five dollars. Now, he said, they said it to him threateningly, and then the other four guys later on said, no, we, we were just asking for some help. Please give us five dollars. He shot them. Now, 
So it's kind of like uh, what happened with the Joker. He became like a symbol uh, of uh, you know a person fed up with the, the ineffectiveness of the government, of society, you know, and he had to take uh, matters into his own hand. And a lot of people were divided on whether Bernie was right in uh, doing that. So um, I guess one of the reasons why a lot of people are saying uh, this is uh, a very political thing is part of that. Uh, they see it as uh, some people even warn that uh, this might encourage people to commit uh, similar acts. So what about the ending part of the film? How was it? Um, ako, uh, may sit, bidin siya, kasi siguro talaga, uh, wala siya kung kung magpaparto sila nito, magpaparto three. And, but and I also find that the ending kind of, uh, hindi lang bitin, parang hangin na pinabigat yung bitin po ng kwento, mas pinabigat pa siya kasi walang magandang solution. Yes. Ang pinakita na, natatakbuhan, natawin na hapon siya, pinatay niya pa kayo yung doctor. So, it seems na parang, Parang nagiging God si Joker. These, these people actually are the clown. Okay? Yung nagrarali in clowns actually is um, worshiping him. The Joker is just dancing. And that's because of something na parang victorious yung ganung uri ng act. Na parang ito yung impact. Dahil, di ba, as, as I can see the story, ito yung ginawa ng society sa atin. So panindigan natin na masama tayo. And it's just um, very easy na sabihin, Patayin natin ito, oh, patayin natin niya, kasi naman ba? Sila. Well, I don't know, this is the origin story of a super villain. How is that going to have a happy ending? Yeah, I mean, Batman is not going to show up at this point, right? Yes. He's a kid. And it's Joker. So, I, like I mean, story. I don't think, again, uh, you don't ask a movie to give you something that it's not meant to. Uh, if this was Superman, and it ended with, you know, um, some clown uh, killing uh, his mother and then that's the end of it. I would say, oh my god, what the hell? It's Superman, but it's Joker. Of course it's going to... How did Joker become Joker? That's what! I mean, why would you expect a happy ending to this? It was always going to be sad. I was rooting for Joker, uh, you know? But obviously he's not going to win his battle with his disease. He's going to lose, he's going to become the Joker. And that's going to be sad. But I think, having said that, Yes, it's sad, but that's the, uh, that's, that's that's the point of the film. That's